When he says it is written, the devil was still there. It is written, the devil was still there. It is written, the devil was still there. He merely said, it is said, the devil departed. Why? There is a difference between what is written and what is said. You read it from the word. Yes. It is logos. Sweet. Wonderful. But now. Saying that thing you have read. It is rhema. That is when it produces power. Am I talking to somebody? So the Bible says. And this Christ be in you. The body is dead because of sin. In other words, what is it telling you? He said, though or even if your body be dead because it committed sin. You got it now? The spirit gives that body life because when the spirit appeared, when the spirit of Christ came, it came with what? Righteousness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Then in verse 11, it says, and, and if the spirit of him, hi, this scripture, if you don't understand it in totality, it can bless you. Jesus was the first and the only that came back to life by himself. We are not talking about prophets of old that raised people. Now, when you raise some from the dead, it's not what we're talking about. Hello? Uh huh. When, when Lazarus came back to life, it was Jesus that went and brought him back to life. Right? Many who died, the prophets brought them back to life. But Jesus, it is on record that he was the first that came back, the first begotten of the dead. Am I talking to somebody? He was the first to come back to life. So, and for him to come back to life by himself, something cost it. And then Paul was talking to the Romans. He said, listen, brothers and sisters, if that spirit that raised up the dead body of Jesus, he said, if that spirit dwell in you, if you can only allow it, if you can only give him an opportunity to enter inside you. He says, if that spirit dwell in you. He said, that same spirit. No one is bigger, no one is smaller. He said, that same spirit. <laughs> Listen to this. The spirit showed up first over Virgin Mary. Am I talking to somebody? It overshadowed Virgin Mary. And got her pregnant. A woman that have not known man. At one time, that spirit appeared in the fire of Nebuchadnezzar. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, uh-uh. We are not going to bow. Nebuchadnezzar said, at the sound of music, you shall bow. And anyone who will not bow shall be thrown into the fiery furnace. Am I talking to somebody? And then at the sound of music, everyone bow. Everyone lie down. The Bible says from presidents, bow. Governors, bow. Counselors, bow. Chiefs, bow. Everyone, bow. Why there we are bowing? There we are three young boys. The Bible calls them the Hebrew boys. Am I talking to somebody? This is Daniel chapter 3. The, the Bible calls them what? The Hebrew boys. And the rest of them said, no, 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 we are not going to bow. And then some people say, hey, are you saying that you are not going to bow? Say, no, 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 we are not going to bow. And then, they don't let Nebuchadnezzar hear you. And they come to him. And the man told three people, who are they? They said, they believe in the Hebrew God. These are Hebrew boys. They said they are not going to bow to any other God. <laughs> and then the king went to them. Hello? Are you normal? They said, we are not normal. Am I talking to somebody here? 
Do you know the implications of what you are doing? Do you know that anyone that did not... Did, did you hear the announcement? They said, oh king, we have no respect. <laughs> we are not going to bow. And he looked at them. He wanted to persuade them because he loved their courage. He didn't want to kill them. <laughs> and then the boys were talking tough. They said, king, even if, he said, our Lord is able to deliver us from the fire and furnace. He said, but even if he does not, come on, Shika, this is fate. Oh. This is fate. Faith will first fool you before it fills you. He said, even if it does not, we shall die. We will not bow. Hey! Nebuchadnezzar said, who are these people? Call me the soldiers. He said, go and increase that fire by seven times. And the Bible declared. It says, because the king ordered and instructions were urgent. <laughs> the fire had to leak up. The soldiers who went to increase it, he said, bind three of them. Throw them inside there. They carried three of them. Shadrach said, Meshach, are you ready? Yeah. Abednego, yes. <laughs> we are ready. This one, shake this one. This one, shake this one. They get ready. Say, let's go and die. They carried them. At that point, a Nigerian man will change his mind. See, am I talking to somebody? This is, we are looking at, this is a God. This is the kind of heart God wants us to have. Even in the face of staggering opposition, our mind should not change. Whether things is working against us, our mind should not change. We cannot change our confession because of our situation. They were going close to the fire. They still said we are going to die. We can't bow to any other God. And you see, <laughs> the songwriter said, Trust and obey. There is no other way to be Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted God that he will not let them die that way. We are talking about the same spirit. And they threw three of them into the fire. And the Bible tells us something in Hebrew. It says, the elders of faith, it said they quenched the violence of fire. It did not talk about fire was burning and they poured water. That is, the fire was still burning, but there is no violence. <laughs> they quench the violence of fire. When they entered and the rest went to the rest, go and bow and forget them. After everything, something told Nebuchadnezzar, I said, go and check. And then Nebuchadnezzar said, let me go and check them. And when he went to the fire, by the time the fire has gone, he came closer and looked. He said, lo, he saw four men. Four. The fourth man looked like the son of God. Ladies and gentlemen, at that time there was no Jesus. You got it? There was no Jesus. How come the fourth man is looking like the son of God? That is the spirit of Christ. The spirit of Christ. It says, if you allow it to dwell in you. It said, that same spirit. That same spirit. Look at me. I said, that same spirit. Is here right now. That same spirit. Yes, sir. It said, Christ in me. Christ. My hope of glory. Christ in me, my hope of winning. Mm. If I am broke, 
my hope of getting money is Christ in me. Hey. If I am poor, my hope of getting rich is Christ in me. If I am sick, my hope of getting well is Christ in me. Hey. It's a Christ in me, my hope of glory. And then in that Romans 10, it says, if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, to dwell means to enter and live. Mm. Hello. Ah. If you can only allow him to dwell in you, is it the same spirit? The same spirit. And they thought they, come, they came to the tomb with a great light. Kakasa Katariada. Soldiers were blocking the tomb. Mm. They were blocking everywhere in the tomb. Ah. That same spirit. It entered. And vitalized dead body of our Messiah. It brought him back to life. That same spirit. He says, if you allow it to be in you, it will quicken your physical body. It will quicken. Do you know what it means to quicken? He says, to quicken means to give life. To quicken means to vitalize. Mm. To quicken means to energize. To quicken means to push life into your bodies. He says, it will vitalize your mortal bodies. He says, by his spirit that dwelleth inside you. Oh, that greater is he that is in me. My body is the living tabernacle of Christ. He lives in you. He looks through your eyes. He hears through your ear. He walks through your legs. He moves, he touches through your hands. He's, he, he's the spirit of Christ. Christ is in me. Christ is in me. I, I can never walk in darkness. I can never walk in darkness. Christ is in me. Christ is in me. I can never be a failure. Christ in me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Christ is in me. Christ in me is my hope of winning. Christ in me is my hope of glory. Christ in me. Hebrews 3.17 He said, with whom was he grieved 40 years? Was it not with them that have seen whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? Did you see that? Yes, sir. He said, with whom swear he that thou should not enter into his rest? He said, but to them that believe not. Mm. Did you see that? He said, so we see that they could not enter in because of what? Unbelief. Unbelief. Did you see it in your Bible? Chapter 4 and verse 1. He said, let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. He said, but unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. Finish the rest. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that had it. Mm. So everything I'm saying here may not profit you if you don't mix what I'm saying with faith. Mm. 